Okay, next I'm going to show you the most difficult one uh, that we've done to date, which is uh, getting a C3. So the C3, it's supposed to represent uh, total sales period by period by acquisition cohort. So that's what we're going to do. So the first thing that we need to get are those acquisition cohorts. And to do that, we need to get every customer's birthday. So how do we get their birthday? First thing that we're going to do is highlight the data and get for each customer their birthday. So insert, pivot table, let's create a new sheet. Let's call this C3. And what we want is for every customer, we want their very first purchase. And we want the date of it. Now they can only have one first purchase. So we can get the max, the min, the average. Let's just go with the max because they're all going to be the same. This is just getting that date associated with the first purchase. So we're going to copy that over here. We can convert this into the date format. And now we have birthdays for every customer ID. So that is good. So the next thing we want to do is splice that back into the transaction log. So I'm going to create a column called birthday. And I'm just going to get the birthday associated with every customer. So I do a VLOOKUP. I'm going to find that customer ID in this table over here. I'm always pulling the second column from this table because that's the one with the birthday in it. And false. And I'm going to hard code in the table so that we're always referencing the same birthday table. Pull that down and we are done. We've got everyone's birthday. So I'm just going to copy and paste the values. We don't have too many formulas hanging around everywhere. Now the next thing I'm going to do is create another pivot table. So for this, this is going to be one that actually generates the C3. So I go back to this table. I'm going to do insert pivot table. Let's keep it on the same C3 tab. So I'm going to put it right over here. OK. Now as with any good C3, the columns represent time, calendar time. The rows represent the, co the acquisition cohorts. Now, normally I do everything monthly. That gets really messy with the C3. There's just too many lines. So we're just going to leave this quarterly. So we're going to expand, expand uh, the rows and the columns. And now what we're going to do is we're going to show the, tum of, the sum of, of all the sales that occurred by acquisition cohort within each calendar time period. That's what this is representing over here. Uh, as we always do, we're going to make the quarters and the years tabular for both the rows and for the columns. And we are almost done. So this is basically the, the data, the raw data underlying the C3. So I'm just going to put that right down over here, copy and paste the values. And let me just create Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Repeat my way down until here. These are all 2016, 2017, all the way up to Q1 2019. And then this will just be Q1 2016. So Q, that cell and put in a space and then put in the year.
copy and paste that down and now we have the acquisition cohorts. Now we could repeat the same thing for the columns or we could just pull the ones that we just created for the rows using offset. So offset again we're going to reference uh, let me start this with zero. What offset is saying is give me this cell shifted by some number of rows and some number of columns. So we want to shift it by this many rows and we're always going to be referencing data from the same column so we leave that as zero. And now we want to hard code this reference cell so that it's the same for each of these entries. So what we're looking at here is again we want to reference this Q1 2016 cell but then we want to move down three rows. One, two, three hence Q4 2016. So this is doing what it's supposed to do. So I'm just going to highlight this then, make a chart, and a C3 chart is an area chart. So you're just going to go over to this stacked area chart over here, and this is the one. So let's just make it a little prettier. <coughs> We're going to pull these back up into the chart. Let's show that Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 uh, for each row. So each row represents a different year right now. And it's going to make this a little prettier. Add in some commas like so. Let's add in some other things over here just to make it clear exactly what this represents. So we want to, in this case, we probably want to add something down here that says calendar quarter just to emphasize that that represents calendar time. Now Excel does not allow you to create a legend title. Why? That boggles my mind. But that's what that's what they do. So we're gonna manually create one with a text box. It just says acquisition cohort put that over here. Now let's just center it, give it a little underline. So this is, whoops, C3, uh, total quarterly sales by acquisition cohort over time. are done.